I'm Dustin Metcalf. Uh, I live in St. Paul. Um, on July 2nd, 2010, uh, I was arrested for no fault of my own while I was waiting for a friend to serve my son's mother a co-parenting form. Um, although I was in form of papyrus through my recent child custody case, and these orders are to be serviced through the court, um, I was somehow sent the documents to my home and instructed by a post-it note from the court administrator to serve these documents on my child's mother and her attorney. Uh, my son's mother left work and noticed what she thought looked like my truck about two blocks from her office. Uh, she proceeded to turn towards me and drove past to see if it was me, which was stated in the 911 transcripts, and then called 911. Uh, she told them that I had a weapon, and when she was asked by the dispatcher to go to the police office, which was about two blocks the opposite direction, uh, she replied, then he might catch on. Um, I then drove away on my own free will and about a couple blocks from my friend's house. I was then pulled over and felony stopped with guns drawn and thrown in the back of a squad. Um, then was transported to the Stearns County Jail in St. Cloud, Minnesota. And after five and a half days in jail, I was charged with uh, felony level harassment stalking by way of false police reports by my son's mother. She later testified that she wanted to be able to feel safe and I wanted something to happen through law enforcement so that I could feel safe again at work and home. Even though I hadn't come to her work or home since April 30th and she had taken my son from me on April 27th of 2010 and would not let me know where he was. Um, additionally, the police, the three police that were involved and came to court were all caught lying on the stand about what they saw and the events that transpired that day. Um, the matter came before Judge Mary Mahler, a uh, judge of district court in Stearns County. On June 7, 2011, the trial was scheduled to take two days, but uh, jury deliberations were allowed to go to just before midnight. The verdict came in and both the prosecution and defense waived their right to pull the jury. The verdict was then read not guilty. The gavel was hit. The trial was over. I think the jury was about to leave the courtroom. Uh, then the jury foreman stood up and notified the judge that he felt there was a mistake. Against jury rules, he was allowed to go by himself back in the deliberation room. Came out maybe 30 seconds to a minute later with a new verdict formed that read guilty, but it had the next day's date on it. He was then allowed to go back into the deliberation room a third time by himself and came out with another new verdict formed with a guilty verdict with the true date on it. The jury was then allowed to be polled and I was found guilty of gross misdemeanor harassment stocking. Since I have been offered numerous high-level jobs in respective fields that I went to school for, this verdict has made it so that the offers have been retracted as close to 24 hours before starting. Uh, it significantly changed my life. I own a couple houses and cars and worked really hard most of my life since my dad died when I was 10 years old from age in orange. I'm one of seven kids, so basically it's drained me. I've almost lost my investment properties to foreclosure about four or five times in the past two years just being drained. I went through five lawyers and spent almost a hundred thousand um, dollars. Haven't had a job in two years because I've lost all my jobs because I've been forced to pay forty to sixty dollars an hour to see my son and then also drive to St. Cloud an hour and a half each way. I've, read, I've wrote numerous letters to the to the judge to I went through five lawyers. Uh, the other parties had one lawyer. Basically, he just won't move on anything and knows he doesn't have a case, so then he just drains me financially, so then I don't have a lawyer to have a mouthpiece to call him out on the games and the delays. Um, the most difficult part of the situation is kind of like what I was saying. It's been used totally against me in my child custody case, even though it's in appeals currently, um, allowing my son's mother to withhold him for just short of two and a half years now. Uh, the case has since gone to a district appellate court and I'm awaiting decision. However, the corruption that I have faced makes me fearful of what is next.